Shemot Exodus 38. And he made at the altar of burnt offering of shittim wood. Five cubits was the length thereof, and five cubits the breadth thereof. It was four square, and three cubits the height thereof. And he made the thorns, rather horns thereof, on the four corners of it. The horns thereof were of the same, and he overlaid it with brass. And he made at all the vessels of the altar, at the pots, and at the shovels, and at the basins, and at the flesh hooks, and at the fire pans, all the vessels thereof made he of brass. And he made for the altar a brazen grate of network under the compass thereof, beneath unto the midst of it. And he cast four rings for the four ends of the grate of brass, to be places for the staves, and he made at the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with brass. And he put at the staves into the rings on the sides of the altar, to bear it withal. He made the altar hollow with boards. And he made at the laver of brass, and at the foot of it of brass, of the looking glasses of the women assembling, which assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And he made at the court, on the south side southward, the hangings of the court were of fine twined linen, a hundred cubits. Their pillars were twenty, and their brazen sockets twenty. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. And for the north side the hangings were a hundred cubits. Their pillars were twenty, and their sockets of brass twenty. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver and for the west side were hangings of fifty cubits, their pillars ten, and their sockets ten, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver, and for the east side eastward fifty cubits, the hangings of the one side of the gate were fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. And for the other side of the court gate, on this hand and on that hand, rather, and that hand, were hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three and their sockets three. All the hangings of the court round about were of fine twined linen, and the sockets for the pillars were of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver, and the overlaying of their chapters of silver, and all the pillars of the court were filleted with silver. And the hanging for the gate of the court was needlework of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen. And twenty cubits was the length, and the height in the breadth was five cubits, answerable to the hangings of the court. And their pillars were four, and their sockets of brass, four, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their chapters and their fillets of silver, and all the pins of the tabernacle and of the court round about were of brass. This is the sum of the tabernacle, even of the tabernacle of testimony, as it was counted according to the commandment of Moshe for the service of the Leviim, by the hand of Ithamar, son to Aharon the priest. And Betzalel, the son of Uri, the son of Chori, of the tribe of Yahuda, made at all that Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And with him was Aholiav, son of Aki Amakamak, rather Aki Kamak, of the tribe of Dan an engraver, and a cunning workman, and an embroiderer in blue, and in purple, and in scarlet, and fine twined linen, rather, and fine linen. All the gold that was occupied for the work, in all the work of the holy place, even the gold of the offering, was twenty and nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. 
And the silver of them that were numbered of the assembly was a hundred talents, and a thousand seven hundred and three score, and fifteen shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca for every man, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for every one that went to be numbered, from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty men. And of the hundred talents of silver were cast at the sockets of the sanctuary and at the sockets of the veil, a hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a talent for a socket, and at of the thousand seven hundred seventy and five shekels he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their chapiters and filleted them. And the brass of the offering was seventy talents and two thousand and four hundred shekels. And therewith he made at the sockets to the door of the tabernacle of the assembly and at the brazen altar and at the brazen gate for it and all the vessels of the altar. And at the sockets of the court round about and at the sockets of the court gate and at all the pins of the tabernacle and all the pins of the court round about.